how to use your TOA tension gauge on your Juki J350 or TL2200. This is going to set your bobbin case tension perfect so when you sew with your machine, your tensions, all you will have to adjust are your upper tensions and you know that your bobbin case is perfectly set. So I'm going to show you how to use this. I'm going to set it aside for a minute and here we have our bobbin case. When we put our bobbin into the bobbin case, we want to make sure that our thread tail is hanging down on the right hand side. If it's falling down on the left hand side, the bobbin's going to spin counterclockwise and that is incorrect. You want the thread hanging down on the right and as we pull on that, our bobbin is spinning in a clockwise direction. So I'm going to drop my bobbin into the bobbin case. Once I put the bobbin into the bobbin case with that tail of thread hanging on the right, I have this large opening here and then as I rotate the bobbin case, I'm looking for this notch. I want to take the thread up into that little notch and then I'm going to pull the thread so it's laying flat against the bobbin case and I'm going to slide it underneath this flat tension disc on the bobbin case and the thread as you can see just comes up through that little opening at the end of my tension disc. Now that I have my bobbin in my bobbin case, I'm ready to use my TOA gauge. So I will grab that and the notch on your bobbin case that when you put it into the machine usually points to 3 o'clock. We're going to point that straight up to 12 o'clock so it can catch right here in our TOA gauge. So with the notch pointing up, I'm going to drop it in and I do want to give it a good solid click, a good solid push. So I hear it click into place, that's very important. Now I'm going to take my tail of thread and I'm going to bring it underneath this first little white wheel and then up and over the top of the second white wheel. So again, taking my thread across under the first white wheel, up and around the top of the second white wheel, and then I'm going to bring the thread around this little finger that's pointing to the right and I'm going to take my thread and a long steady pull out to the left. Now as I take that thread and pull it to the left, the TOA gauge right here is going to give me a numerical reading. So, and it depends on how fast you pull it. You don't want to be jerky as you pull. You want to try to go nice and steady and pull a good 10 to 12 inches. So right now you can see I'm just a little bit below 200 in my reading. My magic number for the Juki long arm quilter is between 180 and 200. So right now I'm just a little below 200. So if I need to adjust my tensions, I'm going to turn the TOA gauge slightly to the side. So once I turn the TOA gauge to the side, I have two screws here. I have a larger screw on the left and I have this smaller screw on the right. I do not want to touch that small screw on the right. That's what's holding my whole bobbin case together. So any tension adjustments that I make in the bobbin case, I'm going to make it on that larger screw on the left. Now my tension was just a hair too tight, so I am going to want to loosen this screw. So right to tighten, left to loosen. And when you're making these adjustments, it's an extremely small adjustment. So if you think of the minute hands on a clock, I want to move this in about five minute increments. So it's going to be a pretty tiny adjustment, but it, it will make a large numerical change on the TOA gauge. So I just want to slightly loosen this. So I can, with the um, bobbin case still in the TOA gauge, I can make my slight adjustment. And now, when I come back to look at my reading, I'm right about at 200. If I want to be a little bit less, again, 180 to 200, I can just back off a hair more. And now I'm closer to that 180, 190 mark. Once you get your tension set, there is a little thread cutter here on the side. I can just take my long tail of thread, pull straight down, 
and that will cut that excess thread off for me. Now my bobbin case tension is perfectly set and I'm ready to put it into my machine and start quilting.